grow up. up. I'm a, a Toys R Us kid. Oh, Maybe man. we should have looked at the lyrics. Hi, everybody. It's Jenny and Emmy. <laughs> I always hate intros. They're so dumb. Emmy and I have been best friends for like since 2004. So that's like 13. I can't math. 14 years. Did I just took out her like abacus? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> like an airbud, and they have like a fake bata, and it's like. God damn. As you all know, uh, the end of Toys R Us is nigh. It happened very quickly. Yeah, that went from like, we might be going bankrupt. Hey, we're going bankrupt. Or, yeah. You know, we grew up with Toys R Us being like heaven for us. It was the place where we all made our parents' lives a living hell. Yeah, not my dad. My dad wanted to go to Toys R Us more than I your did. Your dad is like the biggest geek, which is awesome. So yeah. that's why your dad was like, yeah, toys. To give you guys a little backstory, again, Emmy and I have been best friends since 2004, but we met at Toys R Us. Yeah, that was both of our first jobs, right? It was, yeah, it was both of our first jobs. We were both 18. Yeah, what, what were like some of your top toys? Your favorite toys growing up? Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, at the top of the list, for me, <laughs> as funny as it is, and I actually did wind up getting it, thank you, Dad, was Turbo Man from the Jingle All The Way movie. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a tradition. I can't speak. That is a tradition. Every Christmas, yeah. we always sit down and watch Jingle All The Way. Did your dad have to fight? Oh, no, yeah, people? it was definitely a Jingle All The Way scenario no when way. he went. Yeah, because I was with him. I recently purchased an OG Polly Pocket necklace. Wow. And she's still living in here, living her best life. Look at her, she's sunbathing. I was a huge Polly Pocket collector. As we got older, kids were choking on these things. Mmm, delicious. Mm. I don't, I, I was never one of those kids that sucked dumb things in my mouth, but anyway. <laughs> Tide Pods, okay. <laughs> um, so, Polly Pockets got from this tiny to this big. Yeah, that's what I'm sure said. kids still choked on them because... Didn't that start with Mighty Max? Mighty Max, wait, wait, is that the right theme song? Mighty Max, Mighty Max? No, 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 no. No. Mighty Max, Mighty Max, Mighty Holy Max. Yes! Shit, I really don't remember that. So, I'm sure people are curious to know our experiences having worked at Toys R Us. So you started working at Toys R Us a little bit before me. Yeah, I wanna say it was at least maybe two to three months before you guys came in because it wasn't the holiday rush yet. When it was my interview, I was in my St. Brendan uniform. My abuelo drove me there. I was so nervous. And the guy who was interviewing me was like, look, typical question. So why do you want to work at Toys R Us? And I said, well, it's because it's Christmas and children. What an idiotic response. I immediately changed my mind within the first. I hate when employers ask that. Like, really, why do you ask that? Because, because I need I'm a job. Broke. Like, for I want to eat Taco Bell every day. I did, I ate Taco Bell every day for that. Oh, we all During did, my... that was horrible. The first day, on the job for me was Black Friday. It was a highly stressful job. I mean, I got a hernia at that job. I actually would tend to spend a lot of time in the back warehouse and I'd climb all the way to the top, arrange a few boxes around me, and kind of just lay down Excuse and try to coast through. me. Why did I not get invited to the clubhouse? People didn't have any regard for leaving a mess behind. People didn't people watch like, their kids. Yeah, people like to think it's just one giant daycare. They can yes, drop off their kids. And that like, honestly, especially in the area where there were like hula hoops, rollerblades, the, the, bicycles. The power wheels. And the, the power, power wheels. They would drag the power wheels out of the freaking But sometimes displays. adults would get on those power that wheels too. and Jesus. drive through the aisle. I mean, dude, how many times did we find little kid turds? We've actually witnessed a full-grown woman, maybe in her 50s or 60s, take a dump in one of the back. That backpacks. was actually before I got there. I that remember was horrible. Danny told me that story. If I was a parent and my kid pooped, look, I get it, stressful, but clean it. Clean the caca. All in all, despite the traumas, okay, despite getting a hernia in my stomach, despite the turds and angry customers and, and all, what made us survive was each other. It was a lot of us, it was like a big team of us. We got along really well. If you're watching by any chance, I wanna give hit a us shout up. out. Please hit us up, we miss you guys. Yes, but we all formed a nice little bond as a team and that was the only reason why I genuinely was excited to go to work. Yep. I was like, I'm gonna see my friends today. It was legit a small family. I was constantly shamed for being like a geek 
you know? So I kind of kept that under wraps most of high school. And so it wasn't until I met you guys mm -hmm. that I'm like, oh my gosh, it's people who act like me and like, like the same things I do. It, it got to the point that we all bonded so much that we all started hanging out outside of work. And here we are like 14 yep. years later. Those of you who don't know, I've promoted him a lot over the course of these 14 years, but he's an artist. You do all sorts of things. Now, I used to just say, oh, please. <laughs> he, I, I used to just call him a comic book artist because that's always been your main yeah. thing. But now you're just like, you, you're an illustrator. Yeah, I'm trying to branch out a bit more because I, I like the comic book stuff, but there's so much more you can do as an illustrator. So If you're looking for an illustrator, <coughs> hit him up. <coughs> he's great. He's amazing. And then that's why he's here, as most artists do. Wouldn't be without her, though. I ain't ready to Amy. It's crazy, like that's that's what's funny about life is like you never know who you're gonna meet even if you're in crummy circumstances and working at a job that's like slowly killing your spirits. Yeah. So it's that's why it's so crazy to see that Toys R Us, it was already hard to see the one we worked at get shut down. Yeah, that, that was actually, that hurt. That, that was, hurt. that actually hurt me too. Yeah. The Toys R Us that we worked Act was on Coral Way. It was weird to see it as an empty lot. I and remember. That's what killed me. We I walked. Like, we oh. walked by it, and you see it all empty, and you're like, oh, so many memories were had in this store, and it's gone now. It's such a weird feeling. When you have such a rich history with the company, even yeah. though you really don't, it's just mostly the people that you met working on their set. Company. Oh, and then by the way, we're still wearing our name tags. We yeah. kept our name tags. Oh, and I, I still have my punch in time card. <laughs> if you have any fond memories of Toys R Us growing up, or if you worked at a Toys R Us, please share your experiences, your memories, what you hated about it uh, in the comments below. What you took from it. I'd like to add that I made a video, very poor quality at this point. Yeah. Back in like 2006 is when I uploaded it, or 2005. I'm gonna put it up right now. Parental advisory, you do see my nipple. <laughs> I don't wanna grow up on a toys rocket. They got a million toys and toys that I can play with. I don't wanna grow up.